A lot of different factors in the election last night, uh, but one of them is who showed up. And the uh, answer is overwhelmingly old people. Well, this is exactly why uh, the Fox News of the world are still relevant, because their uh, audience is 68 years old, and guess what? Uh, they get out on their strollers and uh, their walkers, and they, and, uh, they beat your, uh, what was the thing that, uh, that uh, old wrestling manager used to say, I beat you with a pencil neck geek, he's going to beat you with his cane, right? And they did. They beat all the pencil neck geeks or the computer neck geeks at this point with their cane. Uh, and you make fun of old people all you like, but they r run the country. Why? Because they show up. They bother to vote. Okay, so seniors compromised 37% of the electorate last night in the midterm elections. That's people over 60 years old. That's a giant number, man. Okay, how about the young, people under 30 years old? Pfft, miserable. Young people made up just 12% of the electorate. Congratulations. Uh, that breaks a record for the disparity between old people and young people voting. Uh, during presidential elections, especially during Obama's uh, elections, as you see in this upcoming graph, uh, hey, they get a little excited, young people show up, uh, the, that gap narrows. It, they never overcome old people. Uh, they still are like, ah, I don't know, politics, yada, yada. Right now, uh, as you can see there, this is the biggest gap we've seen in a long time, 37 to 12. And so since they showed up, they win, and they get to run the country. Older people are much more conservative, much more Republican, and so they elected Republicans. I mean, they showed up <laughs> more than three to one uh, over young voters. Now look, the system sucks. Here at the Young Turks, we're looking to change that system. Nobody's more frustrated by that than us. Are we frustrated that you didn't have very good choices uh, on uh, election day in a lot of these races? I mean, you vote for corporatist Michelle Nunn, or you vote for corporatist Purdue, who wound up winning in Georgia, but they, you know, uh, it so oftentimes feels frustrating that they're two sides of the same coin. Like Grimes, he was a miserable candidate in Kentucky, uh, ran a center-right campaign, it was a dumb idea. Uh, then she remembered it with like two weeks left in the election that she was a progressive or was pretending to be a progressive. And then uh, she was like, oh yeah, yeah, Obamacare, yeah, I'm in favor of that, yeah, oh my God, all these progressive positions, but it was too late. I know that. But the person she was running against is the heart of darkness. It's Mitch McConnell. It would have been great to get rid of Mitch McConnell. He's the guy that created Citizens United and other decisions like McCutcheon in the first place. He led those fights to drown our government in money, in corporate money, in billionaire money. He's the ultimate bad guy. He won easily because you didn't show up, right? So now look, it, anybody who tells you, the Democratic partisans who are like, oh, the most important thing is, uh, you know, to support, bow your head and support Democratic mainstream candidates. You know me, if you watch this show at all, that's total bullshit. I don't support that at all. I think you should primary Democrats. I think you should, much more importantly, do systematic and systemic change. And that's what we do at Wolfpack, and we've got great results uh, through that. But on election day, it still matters. We lost Mark Udall. I mean, forget all those other guys, but on Mark Udall alone, he was one of the rare Democratic senators or any senators that protected our civil liberties, made sure the government didn't spy in on us, fought back against the abuses, not just of the Bush administration, of the Obama administration, even though he was from the same party, gone. Because people didn't show up in Colorado, so now we have a guy who is terrible on civil liberties. Udall has a 100% rating on civil liberties. The guy, Republican who replaced him has a 7% rating. Not 7 out of 10, 7 out of 100, right? Showing up matters on state by state. You know, 2.3 million people are going to be uninsured now in six states alone because Republicans won those races. 2.3 million people. They're not going to have insurance. It's literally a life and death issue. What happened? People didn't show up. Well, then now you're not going to get insurance. Republicans think, yes! Now we get to gut Obamacare. We don't have to do the Medicaid expansion in our states. We're now untouchable. We they don't face election for another four years in most instances, right? So, <laughs> most important thing in life is to show up. And yes, that also applies to voting. Yes, the general election is not the most important thing. The, the change of the system that we're working so hard for at Wolfpack is the most important thing. But is it important to show up day of? Absolutely. And old people know that, and they just schooled you.